how to fix iPhone's auto back problem on Instagram. So anyway, there's three troubleshooting methods. So the first one is we're going to go into settings and we want to go ahead and look for our storage. So we're going to find our iPhone storage. Please keep in mind that we're going to go to the iPhone storage general. This is the local storage. And from here, what we'll do is we'll scroll all the way down until we find Instagram. And we'll go ahead and click Instagram. And what I want you all to do is go ahead and offload that Instagram app. I'm not going to do it, but you all would need to do it. And basically what this would do is this will basically offload the app. So what we'll do from here is we'll go back and this is a second method. So I want you to go back and I want to go, I want you to go all the way back into general, general settings, excuse me. And we're going to scroll down to VPN and device management. Now, if you have a VPN connected, you're going to want to go ahead and just get rid of that disconnect it. Okay. Now what we want to do from here is if that has not resolved your problem, we're going to go to transfer reset iPhone and we're just going to go to reset. And from here, you're just going to go ahead and reset your network settings, please just your network settings, because pretty much anything else, it's very easy to re erase all the data on your phone if you select the wrong method. So, reset network settings that is the one that you should click once you do that you can go ahead and reset uh, your iPhone will go ahead and restart or you'll have to restart it manually and from there you can see if your problems fixed now this is the last one what we want to do is we just want to open up settings and excuse me not settings we want to go into our app store and from here what we'll do is we'll just type in Instagram now, once we're on Instagram, you see I actually have to update mine. So what you'll do is you'll update it if it tells you to update it. But even if it does not tell you to update it, just go ahead and delete the app. So if you don't know how to delete an app on iPhone, I might have to actually wait till it's done. We'll go here and we'll loan press it. And you can remove app. And we could delete the app and then we can reinstall it. Now, from there, once you've completed all three of those steps, your problem should be fixed. But anyway, peeps, it's Bane Boy King from Solve. I'll see you in the next one.